Hey y'all, it's Crystal. Thanks for coming back today. Um, I'm gonna be doing a tag today. So I was tagged a couple weeks ago now. <laughs> Finally getting around to it. And they give my regards to Broadway tag. I was so kindly tagged by MJ over reading this life. Thank you, MJ. Now this tag was created by Troy Tradup. So I will link Troy's video below and I'll link MJ below, all that good stuff. So this is a tag based off of some popular Broadway musicals. And, um, and yeah, so it's a fun one, so let's dig right into it so number one fiddler on the roof uh, if i were a rich man recommend a, a book in which someone becomes very wealthy or very poor over the course of the story so of course first thing that popped in my mind was heaven by bc andrews uh, and this story we're following the title character her name's heaven and she's sort of the oldest daughter in this family and they are what we call dirt poor <laughs> she lives in the hollers of west virginia and they yeah they're poor beyond poor and over the course of the uh book and the and, and the sort of the whole series in general uh, she finds out that she you know comes from money and so she she gets pretty wealthy at one point too so this uh it's, it's, a, it's a good book uh, heaven is a really good book actually um i really like the character of heaven and i like her all of her siblings and her sibling dynamic and her, you know how her um she and her father and she's got grandparents yeah i mean yeah it's uh it's, it's a really good book for vc andrews <laughs> it's it's good um yeah so number two annie the sun will come out tomorrow recommend a book that takes place at the end of the world I read a bunch of dystopian post-apocalyptic books. Um, but I went with Wool this time around. Wool by Hugh, Har Hugh Howie. I love this series. This, this is a, um, a three book series. It's so good. So something has happened. It's, you know, some sort of apocalyptic event and um, humans have been forced underground and they live in this underground silo. And, um, we're just following, you know, humanity as they're trying to survive and there, you know, are sort of rules in place and things like that to make things go well, to make this big silo work. Um, cause there's people have to, you know, have to work and make the food and make, generate the power, all that kind of good stuff. So uh, it's super interesting. The characters are really great. It's wonderfully written. It's a great series and the first book will yeah starts the series off wonderfully so if you haven't read that one yet it's really good okay number three Hamilton which I've yet to watch Hamilton I know uh, I want to be in a room when it happens I recommend a book in which a character is in a room where they shouldn't be at a key moment so I went with The Nightmare Room by Chris Sorensen this is a freaking good book okay first of all it's also the start of a series <laughs> but um but it's really good it's kind of haunted house type of story but also kind of family a lot of family secrets a little bit of family trauma you know and one of my favorite tropes is when you know somebody comes home again you know <laughs> so we've got um there's a man and a woman you know, a married couple they recently lost their child to a sickness and um, so they've come back home and they've moved into this old farmhouse that the the husband's father uh, has owned the father's not doing well it has like sort of dementia is in like a care facility and stuff like that and mm, there's a thing called the messy man and maybe he is inhabiting this house and yeah, there are secrets and dark corners and hauntings and it's really good. And there's a pretty, some pretty pivotal scenes in which uh, we, our main character finds out some things and um, a pretty key moment for sure. So I went with that one. I had a hard time picking a book for that one. Okay, number four is Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Recommend a book that makes good use of its setting. And I pulled Maynard's house for that. This is by Herman Rauscher. Um, this is a wonderful book, um, but the setting is stellar. So it is set in the wilds of Maine during the wintertime, and you feel that in the book. There's the 
you know, lots of snow, lots of cold weather, wind, blustering, uh, but also the little cabin itself is is uh, really fleshed out as far as, you know, when the story is being told, you kind of, you feel the dimensions of the room and the little cellar and how the bedroom looks, you know, you, know, you he, the author really did a wonderful job with the setting of this book in general from the cabin itself to the sort of surrounding forest and you just you really feel cold while reading this one uh, this is a fantastic book so and the setting is is top notch so i want that one okay next up uh number five phantom of the opera turn your face away from the light of day recommend a book in which a character actively embraces the dark side of their personality Quincy Corpse by Poppy Seabright? Two on the nose? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, this follows uh, two serial killers and they definitely embrace their dark side. They're very happy. They're very happy doing what they do. Killing killing people. And in one case, one person eats them. And in one case, one uh, they have sex with dead bodies. So um, they're very dark. <laughs> I love this book though. It's wonderfully written. Um, but yeah, it's pretty dark. And the characters definitely embrace that dark side. I love that book. Number six. Wicked. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. Recommend a book you loved so much it made you feel you could defy gravity. So I wanted to highlight this graphic novel series. I've got all of them. But here's book one. This is Descender by Jeff Lemire. Um, the artwork is by Dustin Nguyen. And I absolutely love this series. I love I love this series. This was five starred all the way across the board for me, um, all the volumes, and um, it's wonderfully, beautifully uh, illustrated here. In this sort of almost kind of like a watercolor style. Look at this. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, and the story is amazing. We're following uh, in this world. It's, this is a science fiction story, um, and so in our world we've got. Um, uh, something has happened previously and so any kind of artificial intelligence you know robots and things like that have basically kind of been hunted down and <laughs> and taken out they're not, they're not allowed to be, exist anymore and we follow this little guy as he kind of wakes up on this on this planet and he's alone and he's trying to find his way but he also could be a key to uh to uh the the um the big the big bads that were from a previously had caused all this ruckus with the with the uh, <laughs> with the robots does that make sense they're called the harvesters um and they kind of started all this thing with the sort of anti-robot stuff um so this is yeah his name's tim 21 and he was basically a little companion robot for a little boy and um, he wakes up and uh, he's all alone. He's trying, trying to find his way in this world. And he's sort of this, you know, gang of people that help him out. And um, it's just wonderful. It's so, it's lovely. It's a wonderful story. And I love it so much. So I'm going to highlight this one for that one. Okay, number six. Greece, you're the one that I want. Let's tag some folks. I know this one has been making the rounds. So I think I'll tag Kat, though, at Kat's Novel Adventures. I have a feeling that Kat likes musical theater. So I'd love to hear your answers if you feel like you want to do it. Kat, of course, no pressure. Um, and anyone else, of course, if you'd like to do it. It's a fun one and kind of short and sweet. So, uh, so that'll do it for me today. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.